Welcome to Jimia Academy. In this video, we'll talk about sponsored products and guide you through the process of creating your first campaign and setting up ad groups to promote your products on Jimia. Before diving into the platform, it's helpful to think about your advertising goals. Are you launching a new product or boosting sales of existing bestsellers? Knowing your objectives will influence your campaign structure and product selection. Remember to choose competitively priced products with sufficient inventory. Let's head over to the Sponsored Products platform to create your campaign. First, navigate to the Campaign Manager. On the left sidebar menu, select All Campaigns and then click on Create Campaign button. Here the publisher, store, your store selected by default. Campaign type. Manual, you have more control over SKU selection and targeting by selecting keywords or products. You will need to set up ad groups to organize your products and targeting, which we'll cover in the next steps. Automated, Jimmy's system uses its algorithm to automatically target relevant customer searches based on your product information. If you choose an automated campaign, the system handles the targeting, and you will not need to manually create ad groups. For this tutorial, we'll focus on creating a manual campaign to demonstrate the process of setting up ad groups. Next, configure the basic campaign settings. Enter a clear and descriptive campaign name. Then, choose the start date for your campaign. You can also set an optional end date. If you don't set an end date, the campaign will run until your budget is exhausted. Now, select your budget type. You can choose between a daily budget, which is the amount you're willing to spend each day, or a lifetime budget, which is the total amount you're willing to spend for the entire campaign. Enter your desired budget value. For our manual campaign, the next step would be configuring targeting. However, we'll do this within the ad group, which we'll set up next. For now, click Create to launch your campaign. Your campaign will now appear on the Sponsored Products page with an active status. Alternatively, you can click the arrow next to Create and select Create as Draft if you're not ready to set up ad groups immediately. Now that your campaign is created, you need at least one ad group to start promoting products. Think of an ad group as a subcampaign that allows you to organize your products and targeting. It's often best practice to create one ad group per product category. On the campaign page, click the Create Ad Group button, enter a descriptive ad group name that reflects the products or keywords you'll include, for example, smartphone accessories or summer dresses. You can optionally set a start and end date for the ad group, although these will typically align with your campaign dates. You can also set a specific budget for the ad group, which will be a portion of your overall campaign budget. Now, here, you'll have the option to choose the ad group type, manual or automated. With a manual ad group, you have direct control over which products are included and the specific keywords you target, allowing for precise optimization. With an automated ad group, the system will dynamically select products from your campaign and match them to relevant customer searches based on its algorithm. You might find it beneficial to use a combination of both manual and automated ad groups within the same campaign, depending on your specific goals for different product sets. For this tutorial, we'll proceed with creating a manual ad group to demonstrate the keyword and individual product bidding options. Now, let's talk about how you want to structure your bidding for the products in this ad group. You have two options. First, you can define a common bid for all products within this ad group. This means you'll set one cost per click CPC, bid that will apply to every product you've added here. This is a simpler approach, especially if the products in this ad group have similar value and conversion alternatively, you can specify a bid for individual products. This allows you to set a unique CPC bid for each product in the ad group. This can be useful if you want to bid more aggressively on higher value or better performing products within the group, choose the bidding method that best suits your strategy. In the bidding section, bid price. How do you want to set your bids? Manual or leverage AI calculated market adaptive bids. If manual enter the cost per click, CPC, you're willing to pay for a click on your ad for this ad group. This is the maximum you'll be charged once you're done. Please note, for the CPC setting, if you put a CPC lower than the minimum requested, no error message but the campaign will not be launched. Finally, search keywords. How do you want to target your keywords? Automate targeting with AI high-performing keywords. 
manually select keywords to refine your targeting. For a manual one, you'll now enter your keywords. These are the search terms you want your products to appear for. Enter one keyword per line. Think about what customers would type when looking for your products. Now click Create to activate your ad group. It will now appear on your campaign page with an active status. You can also choose Create as Draft if you want to make further changes later. To update or pause a campaign, navigate to the Sponsored Products page, click the More Actions button next to the campaign, and select Edit to make changes or pause to temporarily stop it. Remember that if you don't set an end date, your campaign will continue running and incurring costs. Start creating your campaigns today and unlock the power of sponsored products. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need assistance, contact the seller support team. Stay tuned for more videos from Jimia Academy.